This is the I Want It All bundle from A Juice, and it's insane. It's currently 98% off, and you'll get an additional 10% using the link in the description below. I'll show as much as I can in this video, but please just click the link in the description down below and you can read all about it. The way they built this is actually awesome because it's a plugin that's built directly into Premiere once you install it. You'll see that when you scroll through here, it has a nice window where you can kind of hover over something and it will give you a preview of what that pack actually is. You can also search. So if I just type in YouTube, I can find this YouTube subscribe element pack and click on it. When you click on something, it'll actually download it. So once you find an element that you like, I can just drag that into my timeline. And just like that, you have a custom motion graphic. Now, most of these you can click on and you'll see over in the properties panel, we can actually modify and change all the parameters if you want. And if you find something that you like, you can just click this little star button right there. And then at the top, when you click on the stars, you'll see that all of your favorites are right here. So let's type in transition and let's check out this seamless transitions three. When you are looking at this, you'll see on the left-hand side, we can kind of see categories of transitions and you'll see a live preview of what that actually looks like. When you find a transition that you like, all you have to do is make your playhead go to the middle of the clips you wanna transition between. And then you can either click on your clip, right-click import, you can click import at the top, or you can just drag and drop it down into your timeline. I also like this glitch transition right here. So let's just click import. You can also use these tabs at the top to filter out what you're looking for. Let's try out this uh, Radical Retro. So it looks like it gave us some like noise grain that we can just drag on top of our footage. In order to see our actual footage, just click on your top layer and change your blend mode to something like screen. Now keep in mind, for each one of these effects, you can change the different blend modes if you want to. Like multiply will show the black bands. And then if I change this to screen, I can actually get the white bands. You can stack a bunch of these on top of each other and create any effect that you want. Another one that I like is newspaper constructor. So in here, we have a bunch of options and this is really great if you have a creative video that you need to highlight text. So let's just drag this one in. When I click on the motion graphic under properties, you can see that we have all of these options that we can change and modify, like and subscribe to Kyler Holland. The magic really is that you can kind of just go through here and look at everything to find what you are looking for. There's so much in here that it's just impressive. Now I'm in the prism transition pack and right here, I'm just gonna try it in between these two clips. In the short seamless pack, I'm gonna try this one out. I mean, these transitions are pretty impressive. When you go frame by frame, you can just see how seamless they are. You can always try it out before you buy it because they have a ton of free plugins that you can use right now. And if you plan on purchasing the full plugin, just click the link in the description down below so you can get that juicy discount. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please click that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments. I know this pack is massive and it's pretty impressive what they were able to do. Yeah.